So if you're interested in buying from the company Huel and you want to know my review and thoughts on it, the short answer is I do not recommend this product. I don't think that you should buy it. And if you want to know why, then just keep watching. First, let's start with the basic. The name Huel combines human and fuel, and what they sell are basically a variety of what they say are nutritionally complete foods. So they sell a variety of powders that you can turn into hot meals or drinks. They also sell some pre-made foods like snack bars and drinks and things like that. And when you look at the nutritional ingredients, they have a ton of vitamins and minerals. It's basically like you are eating a multi vitamin, but it's in the form of food. So I've never tried anything quite like this. So let me now walk you through what exactly I ordered from them. So I ended up with a pretty big Huel order because I really wanted to try a lot of different items that they were offering. Number one, I got the best seller bundle. This is $95 as a subscription. I selected the subscription. I ultimately just canceled it before my next order. But if you do just do a one-time purchase, it's $105. And what that includes is one hot and savory item. You can't choose the flavor, which I was a little bit annoyed about. One black edition bag. So this is like their chocolate drink. Four ready to drink meals and two bars. So not including the bars because I wouldn't really consider those meals. The remaining items altogether was a total of 28 servings of about 400 calories each. So that's only about $3 per meal. So that's pretty much the cheapest I've ever seen in terms of any type of meal delivery service. You know, the price is low. I also got the mac and cheese because I wasn't really sure what the hot and savory item they were going to send me was, but I really wanted to make sure I got the mac and cheese because this was honestly the reason I wanted to try Huel to begin with. And then on top of that, I also got four Huel bars for $2.50 each. And then in the bestseller bundle, I also got a bunch of extra stuff. Like they could send me a t-shirt, the shaker bottles. I think I got two shaker bottles between all the stuff I ordered, as well as a bunch of scoopers. The packaging, I had absolutely no problems with it. I think everything was packaged actually actually really nice. It was kind of in like a very nice and presentable format. It came really quickly. They say shipping normally takes three to seven days on average. And I think mine was definitely on the shorter end of that. So overall, that was my ordering experience. <laughs> the biggest selling point of Huel is the nutritional aspect of their products. So what they say on their website is not only does Huel meet the U.S. daily values for all macro and micronutrients, but provides a sustained source of energy and as well of other benefits. And I can definitely see what they're talking about because when I looked at the Huel nutrition facts for the items I ordered, it was the longest nutritional facts I have literally ever seen. There were so many different nutrients tracked. It was basically like it was some sort of multivitamin or something. And then on top of that, all of the Huel products are plant-based, which I think is great. That being said, of, of course, with any type of supplement, you should really be thinking about your specific situation. Talk to your doctor if you're not sure about what you should be consuming. Personally, I'm a little skeptical of things like this where it's just so many different nutrients where, you know, do we really need all of that? You know, I don't know, make your own decision on that, but that is really the unique factor of Huel. So everything initially started out completely well and good with my delivery, but things took a pretty drastic turn for the worse when I started tasting the items. So I started out with the bars because I normally eat like protein bars, pretty frequently. So I figured this was like the safest option. I figured they would probably be decent, but I was definitely very, very wrong. So I started out with a raspberry white chocolate bar. This is about 200 calories. It looked, when I opened it up, I was pretty pleasantly surprised. It looked like really nice and moist and fresh, very similar to a Luna bar in my experience. Like it looks almost identical, but it was very bad. It tasted honestly terrible. I gave it a three out of 10. It was basically like eating a flavorless multivitamin bar while sitting next to a bowl of raspberries. It had almost no raspberry flavor, basically no white chocolate flavor. It was just bad. It had a bad texture. It was like a chalky dry texture, which was very surprising to me considering how it looked. But yeah, things did not start off 
on a hot start. Next, I tried another bar, which is the salted caramel bar. This was, again, totally flavorless. Like it was edible, but there was literally no caramel flavor. It, it had like a slightly bitter flavor, almost like kind of like a multivitamin. And I got a little bit of the salts of the salted caramel, but it was just, it did not taste good. I gave this one a two out of 10. It was just, I would never eat this again. Next, I tried the chocolate bar. Again, this had no flavor. It was just not good. I I don't know why all of these bars actually looked good when I opened them, but they just all tasted terrible. And then after the bars, I started onto the drinks. So first I tried the banana drink. It's really weird. It's so, it's like the initial flavor is super sweet banana Laffy Taffy flavor, which I actually love. I think the initial taste is really good. But then it just has this like cough syrup flavor that kind of like hits me after that. The idea that someone would give up a meal of actual food to drink this is just like kind of boggles my mind. Like I just, it's just so unpleasant. Okay guys, I have to be completely honest with you. It has taken about a month to try out the first few items from Huel because they were all just so bad. Like every time I tried one of them, I was so put off from the idea of trying out anything else from this company that I just would wait like a week or two to try out the next item. Gordon. So I've decided that now I need to just knock out all of these trials. I need to just try all of this stuff or else it's gonna literally take me six months to make this review. So the next item that we are going to be trying all together now is the last three flavors of these drinks. So first let's try out the berry flavor. This is probably the one I'm most skeptical of. So let's give it a try. First I'm gonna shake it smells it actually doesn't smell bad it smells like a berry smoothie let's see what it looks like so this is just a taster taster amount this is not the full amount that's in there Ugh. you guys like all of these are so bad like here's the thing it, it smells good the first initial taste is actually decent but then it tastes like cough syrup. And like, I'm trying to keep an open mind, you guys, like I really am, but it doesn't taste good. It tastes, it tastes bad. No. Now let's go on to chocolates. It doesn't smell good. The other two actually smelled good and they tasted bad. It smells chocolatey, I will give it that, but it, it smells kind of like, I don't know, something is just a little bit weird about it, but. Here's what it looks like. It looks good. It looks like a nice creamy chocolate, like, I don't know, like a thick chocolate milk. Um, I think the taste is actually better on this one than the other two, because I feel like the chocolate is more overpowering of a flavor where it kind of like, maybe it's the fruit flavors that have more of that artificial like cough syrup flavor this one doesn't necessarily have much of as much of that flavor but it has just a different flavor that i also don't really like it kind of reminds me of back a while ago i made a review of two soul smoothies and those were absolutely terrible tasting this kind of is reminiscent of that but it's actually not terrible it's bad but I could maybe force myself to drink this one. I don't know. I'm gonna give it like a four and a half out of 10. And last we have vanilla. And vanilla is normally like my favorite flavor. I love vanilla flavor stuff. So I'm hopeful, but also not. It smells like vanilla. I don't know. I'm. <sighs> Let's see. So it looks good, like the texture is very nice and smooth and creamy. The smell is fine. I feel like the smell is the least distinctive of the other ones. The other ones had a very overpowering smell. This one doesn't really have as much of that. It's more of like a mild scent. Let's try it out. Don't buy this, like don't buy these smoothies, they're so bad. I'm not someone who drinks a lot of like protein powder drinks and things like that, so maybe I'm just not used to this flavor but I just, I don't think it tastes good, okay? I'm sorry. It just has like a weird artificial kind of flavor. That being said, I do think 
the chocolate and the vanilla are the two best ones of the smoothies. I think the vanilla is actually the best because it's just the least kind of off-putting. Like it's just, I don't know. It, it feels like they didn't try so hard to get like a really powerful flavor. And so because of that, it's not as revolting, but I would say the vanilla, I would give a five out of 10. I think it's, it's, it's not good. I would not buy this, but it's the best of the four flavors. The chocolate, I would say is second best. The berry and the banana are both, both the worst ones. I mean, maybe the banana is the worst because the flavor is a little bit more strong. And then the berry is kind of in the middle, but yeah, I would say if you are really set on getting these, I would definitely recommend the vanilla and chocolate over the fruit flavors, but I would not recommend any of them, honestly. If you want a vanilla smoothie, just whip up some like bananas and put some vanilla extracts in it or something. Like just make an actual smoothie with actual food. You don't need to buy these Franken foods, okay? So those were all of the pre-packaged items. Now let's move on to the ones where you actually make them yourself. I'm very interested for these, let's go. So next I made myself one scoop of the mac and cheese. Basically you stir the powder together with water. And I am actually impressed, like it had full like raw noodles. I don't know what I was expecting, but I guess that was enough to impress me. It, it looks, it looks like mac and cheese. It, the texture is a little bit like, I don't know, like clumpy, I guess. Like it's not, I don't know, maybe it needed more water, but I did exactly measure out the right amount of water. So let's give it a try. Okay, I need to take another try. It's actually, what I like about it is it does not have a weird aftertaste like the drinks. Let me give it another try. It's not good, like it's just not good, okay? So here are my thoughts. The first bite tastes really weird. Like it tastes like almost like a multivitamin or something, like kind of a, like a bitter, just bad kind of taste. And then like once you kind of get through that initial taste, it actually tastes, okay like it it doesn't taste good i would not crave this or make this willingly but it, it tastes more like actual food like something like someone would make i don't know five out of ten so next i am back with the second hot and savory menu item which is the mexican chili and i have to say i think this one actually smells the best and looks the best like it doesn't look like gourmet or anything but it does look like food like it feels like it has like actual seasoning on it that it doesn't just have like a weird medicinal smell but let's give it a try this one is actually not bad i'm kind of shocked like every single other thing that i've tried has been absolute trash so wow it's nice that this one actually actually tastes decent i'm gonna give it like a six and a half out of 10. It does not have any of those kind of repulsive flavors. It doesn't have that cough syrup flavor. It doesn't have like a multivitamin flavor. It seems like they put a lot of spices in this to make it actually flavorful. Like I would consider eating this again. And this is probably the only one of these items that I've tried that I would, I would do that. But we have one more final item to try out. The last item is the classic. This is the black edition chocolate. So this is just the classic powder that you can make the drinks yourself. So I'm really curious, is this going to taste like the pre-made drinks or is this actually going to be better somehow? Let's try it out, shall we? So the pack I got came with this shaker, filled up the shaker to the fill line with cold water. Now I'm going to add two scoops of the powder and then we're gonna shake it for 10 seconds and see how it goes. So, okay, one scoop, now two scoops. And then let's shake it up here. I do like this bottle. I mean, I could see myself maybe using this for something else. I mean, I don't know. It smells, it smells chocolatey. Like it has still kind of a weird like multivitamin type of scent, but it does say that it's a new and improved flavor. So maybe it's, 
it'll be good. Let's give it a, a, a taste. You guys, don't buy this stuff. <laughs> like, it's even worse than the pre-made chocolate, honestly. Like, at least the pre-made one felt more, well, first of all, it was really ice cold because it was in my refrigerator. This one is like cold, but it's not as icy cold. So that I think makes it harder. I think it's harder to get that unless you put ice in this, which maybe you should do that. Second of all, it has a little bit more of like a powdery flavor where I feel like the pre-made one had a creamier flavor that I think, or a creamier texture that I think was more appealing. So uh, it just, it has a really bad aftertaste that tastes like you're drinking a multivitamin. And that's what this is. You have to remember, this is literally the food version of a multivitamin. They have so many different random vitamins in here and it tastes like it. So would I recommend to you all? The short answer is no, I would not recommend it. Every single thing with the exception of the Mexican chili I tried was really bad. I think the taste is bad. I don't think you need to subject yourself to this type of Franken food. You can get nutritious, healthy food by just eating whole foods, fruits and vegetables. And if you really want a multivitamin, just go and get a multivitamin and just Swallow it down in two seconds. You do not need to be subjecting yourself to a whole meal's worth of multivitamin because that is what this tastes like. I don't know, maybe I'm just really sensitive to the flavor. Maybe some people don't mind it. I would love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see more taste tests, more product reviews and food reviews from me almost every week, then feel free to subscribe for more. And until next time, bye.